I got a 2010 CX-7 here. It's in the garage for a couple of reasons, but the one I want to show you is back here. The owner says it's got a puddle of water that's been growing in the trunk area. So let me go ahead and show you that. Let's have a look at it. Turn on the light. All right, so this is the towel that's it's pretty soaking wet here. Let me go ahead and move that. And look in here. Got a little bit of trash in there. See that? It's got standing water in the trunk. There's more down here. So, gotta figure out what that is. Now, we've got a lot of trash up in this area. We've got this Dorflex gasket could be leaking, but it feels dry to me. And then we've got the rubber seal that goes across. It's got some staining on it, but I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any water traces that would be coming down. It would have to be coming around on this side here. And we've got this other flex here. Also it could be leaking, but I don't see any water down in there. So I don't think that's it. Look at this trim. This little piece, there's a seam here. And a seam here. Look at that. Just a little, can you see that? Just a hint of water just under that seam. Let me go ahead and pull this off and we'll see what's behind it. Now we've got, oh yeah, check that out. We've got a little bit of moisture here on the harness for the top mount brake light. All right, and then we've got these plugs here. I wanna pull these out. Go. And that's going to be your other two fasteners here. It should keep the entire wing, that plastic piece that goes above. Oh my goodness. That was finger pressure. Oh boy. All right, well, you saw it here, folks. That's, these clips right here hold this incredibly real piece of plastic. Oh my goodness. All right. I was bare, that was, you saw it, come on. That was just with my thumb. So this is just completely toast. That's, ah, man, that sucks. Here's a piece of that plastic, watch. It just, it, it just crumbles. It takes no effort at all. Like I'm making, <laughs> it sounds like I'm making excuses, but my goodness. Okay, so it's got a strip of adhesive just right there. I'm gonna see what I can do about replacing this wing piece back here. Hopefully there's something available and <laughs> otherwise it's gonna be pretty embarrassing. I think what I'm gonna do now that it's trash is just pour a little bit of water in here and see where it goes. We'll see where the leak starts. And this is like my tears when I realized I just broke a part that I'm gonna have to replace. Dang it! <laughs> oh well. No use crying over spilt water, I guess. Okay, that's a whole bottle. We'll let that kind of do its dripping. Let's see where it goes. All right. I don't know. Well, here it is. The back of this lamp. Well, back. It would be the top. If the hatch was closed, the top of the stop lamp here it does have water on it. And there's some over on this side also. So it looks like it was the stop lamp uh, that was leaking. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's the water in there. Look at that. That was, it looks like there's water in it also. And then the gasket is just this thin little piece here. That looks all, let me pull this out and I'll show you. Okay. So yeah, you see that, just that thin little piece of rubber there, that little gasket? That's all it was sealing it, or not sealing it, I guess. So, yeah, it's a couple hundred bucks. I don't want to replace it just for this goofy little gasket. Let me see if Mazda has a gasket for these things. And if not, we might have to get a little creative, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm out at the junkyard. Found a Mazda CX-7. This one is black. Not the same color, but black is good because that is black. Let me go ahead and pull this open. Well, let me look at it real quick. This is <laughs> this is just as beat up as the oh, and it's cracked. That crack right there. So I don't know if I'm gonna grab that, but let me see what it looks like to take it off. Let me open this guy up. And check these stains out. Looks like this one might be leaking too. I wonder if that's just kind of a con common problem with this brake lamp. All right, let me pull this out and see if I can get it off in one piece. What I did, I pushed up on these bolts from the bottom to try and work it loose. And every single one of them cracked. I didn't even push very hard. So that's a bust. So I can't pry it from up here and I can't push from down there. I'm hoping I can find one that doesn't look like that. Something maybe that was parked in a garage for a majority of its life. Let's try another one. All right, well this yard is kind of a bust. There aren't any more CX-7s, but I did check another yard and it says there's three of them. So I'm gonna go down to that one, see if I can salvage at least one of these pieces, get it back on the car and fix it. Let's go. Can you believe this? I found the right CX-7, right color, and it's a rollover. Dang it, it's broken. Keep on keeping on, let's find another one. Okay, this one's a 2012, so it's a little bit newer and it's white. Check out the condition of it. It's not all scraped up like the other one was, kind of burned up from the sun. So that's either because it's white and it protects from the sun a little bit or it's been garaged. Either way, let's try and get this thing off. Be real careful, I don't want to break it. I want to cut that adhesive. So I'm just putting my bar in there just to separate that so I don't have anything holding me back. It's going to take a while. And I found a little bit of brake fluid in here and it's kind of a solvent. So if I put just a little bit of that on the tip of my pry bar, it should work a little bit better to get this adhesive off. Oh yeah, that's breaking it up real good. Almost ready. All right, honestly, if I knew how fragile that piece actually was, I think I would have done it this way in the beginning, but I just didn't realize. I mean, that thing snapped like a potato chip. So I'm just loosening these nuts here. And I think, let's start at the end. I'm just gonna give it a push. Okay, you can see it's just moving. That's all I'm doing, just a little push. Let's go to this side now, give it a little, little push. All right, a little push. And I'll push. And now I'm loosening it some more. So that was sort of my stop. I didn't want to push it all the way out. I'm just going to do this a few turns at a time. See how far I can go and not hear the snap crack pop. All right, a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more. Oh, it popped and I didn't hear it snap. That's good. Okay. Let's mount some more. And give it one last push. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. One more push. Oh, nope, that's out. I think, oh, yep. <laughs> Let me go up top. Yeah, there we go. I think we got her, folks. 
Heck yeah, all right. Okay, pull the nuts out completely. So I guess you could uh, pretend this is the beginning of the video. This is what you want to start with. Let's get this thing all, all the way loose before you do any kind of pushing or pulling. Out of bang. All right. And, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Boom. All of it's intact. We got her. Whew. All right. Just wipe the sweat. This is like a open heart surgery. This is being the last one in the junkyard that's any good. So I'm super happy about that. I'm gonna pull this brake light to see if that's any good. Probably isn't, but I'm just curious to see. Then we're gonna get out of here. Same story up here. The gasket is done, but on this particular one, it didn't leak yet. So it was probably about to, but it hasn't yet. So I'm not gonna take this one. We're gonna do something else, but that's uh, it's good to know. All right, that does it for me at the Go Pull It yard. I've got the potato chip back there in the back seat. That's what I'm calling it now because the thing is so brittle. I feel like putting a seatbelt on that just to make sure it makes it to the ride home, but we're gonna go ahead and go and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. All right, so what I did is I took the old light and I just cleaned it off. The customer doesn't wanna spend the $300 on a new one. I don't blame her. So what I'm gonna do is use some of this Permatex. This is water pump gasket maker. So I'm just going to make a gasket that's going to be impervious to water. Oh, look at her. She goes I'm going crazy. I'm just going to put a bead of this stuff all the way around where that old gasket went. I've already removed that and cleaned it off. So that's this. I'm just trying to fill this void with the silicone. Okay, and I'm gonna put a bead around the hole on the car. I'll show you that. We've got the connector. Just put that back where it goes. All right, there. Which way does this go? Maybe this way. Nope. Oh, goes this way. Go in there. Come on. Hey. Oh, there you go. Okay. Now remember, this just clicks in, so. cool you can look through the clear plastic and you can see that there are no air holes around that little gasket we just made so I think that's gonna go pretty well all right today's a new day I'm feeling pretty good because we've got this cured it looks pretty good I don't think that's gonna leak I'm gonna seal around these holes where the bolts go and then we're going to install this. I just painted this a nice matte black. Looks pretty good in the light there. I like how that turned out and it's gonna match sort of the matte black trim on the rest of the car. I mean, it'll be a little cleaner than that, but I think that's good. So let's go ahead and get that installed. We can kick this car out of here. I'm gonna be using some of this. It's, uh, it's just a molding tape. You can apply your plastic bits to your car and it'll stick on there. So this is pretty high strength. It's a double-sided kind of foam tape. I want to install about this much of it just to cover where that brake light is right at the leading edge because you don't want wind catching it. Let's go ahead and put that down right here. Okay, okay. All right, Uncle Steve's got it. Here we go ready to go. All right, and super gently, let's go ahead and line up those bolts with the holes, get them put in just like that. Snap down the plastic <laughs> without snapping the whole thing. This is making me real nervous. Oh boy. Oh yeah. And then that molding tape goes right there. 
What do you think? That looks pretty sweet, right? You're happy? Now we gotta be real careful. Put this thing up. We can install these nuts. Just finger tight is all I want to do on these little guys. Last thing I want to do is snap it, just over torquing these things. So we're going to be real careful. And I've never been so delicate with a car before. It's crazy. Put that back. I found a panel clip that should fit this hole to replace that broken one that I found. If you remember that, that was from yesterday. Yep, that looks pretty good right there. And we got this. So I don't know if this video is a how-to video on replacing a brake light gasket to fix a leak, or if this video is how to fix a problem that you caused yourself. I think that looks pretty good. I like the way that turned out. So maybe that's what it's about. If you do something, just own up to it, go to the junkyard, fix it. I think that'll go a long way. Now this is supposed to be like a half hour job or something like that. It took me all day because we had to go to two different junkyards and everything, but I feel good about it. I think it looks really good. Let me know in the comments, what is this video about? Is it how to repair a leak or is it how to stand by your work? Let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.